In your co-main event, I'm almost positive that's five rounds. I know most time co-main events, that's for if it's not for a title, it's three rounds. I'm pretty sure that's a five round fight. Strickland versus Costa. Mm-hmm. Because depending what that is, will dictate. According to Nick Six. And that was 16, 16 hours ago. ago. I'll take it. Let's run with it. Oh, you Google it. First thing says it's five rounds. I'll take it. That's my research. So it's five rounds. Strickland all day. Three rounds, uh, different argument. Five rounds? I think Paulo's only gone five rounds once in his life. Um, it, Paulo Costa might be the most talented guy on the card. Might be the most talented individual on this card. Not very active. I don't think he fought at all last year. And prior to that, he was fighting about once a year. Um, so let's see. So 2017 did work, right? That's when he burst on the scene. He beat Johnny Hendricks. Like, oh my God, this is crazy. The next big thing. Uh, he got a TK over Uriah Hall. So he fought three times in the UFC in 2017. That's a hot second ago. He fought once after that in 2018 against Uriah Hall. He won. Then he fought once in 2019 against Yoel Romero. Amazing fight. That that was prime Costa. I mean, that, oof, that boy's bodied up, skill set, ridiculous, right? But again, none of these have gone five rounds. None of them have gone past the third here. So just keep that in mind. So he beats Yoel Romero. He's on defeat. He's 13-0. So he fought once in 2018, once in 2019. 2020 is his year, right? He fought once. And he got knocked out by Izzy. And that was in the second round. Takes the entire year off. Fights once in 2021 against Marvin Vittori. He lost that one. Okay. And then 2022 comes. He fights once. And uh, he fought at middleweight. And, um, you know, it was in Salt Lake City, Utah. Thin air up there. I get it, and it was not the gl most glorious fight. But again, if you're taking years off, dude, we expect you know a good product. Tough fight, but he won that one unanimous decision. F again, he fought once in five years. He fought five times. That's once a year. So he fights Luke Rockhold in August of 2022. Goes a decision. Then he takes two years off. Not one, but two years off. Comes back, looks amazing against robert whitaker but loses land a great head kick my god that was good had a good outcome robert whitaker is the grim reaper he's the gatekeeper to get to the title shot he's the best of the best not named izzy or strickland or um duplices at fucking 185 if you can edge it out with robert whitaker you deserve a title shot he gave him all he can handle again not five rounds three rounds robert beat him so he's not very active, hasn't gone five rounds in three years. The one time he did go five, he lost. You think he's going to beat Strickland? Be tough. Be very tough. Couldn't be a worse matchup for Costa. And I, you know, I'm still on the end of, I think Strickland beat Duplices. That was a split decision. Again, if it's three rounds, Costa can apply more pressure. He can, he can be super physical like he was against Joel Romero. Five rounds, he just can't get it done. Unless in his head, the game plan is, fuck the five rounds. Let's, like Basically, if we can't get it done in the first two, we're screwed. It'd be tough to get it done the first two. Unless Strickland just has some mental error, which I think he learned from the Alex Pierre fight. Dude, avoid those big shots early on, and you, it, it's going to be a, it's going to be like a tidal wave. The Sean Strickland tidal wave is intense at 85, especially five rounds. The first two rounds are going to be a little dicey for him. He might get wobbled. As long as he doesn't get murked and flatlined, if he survives, all you got to watch. Once it gets to that two and a half mark in the second round, enjoy your winnings if you bet on Sean Strickland. You, you, you got to get halfway through that second round. It's, you're going to walk through some Brazilian fucking secret juice fire. But if you can survive that secret juice fire, bud, he's going to melt him. He's going to melt him like acai in Brazil in the summer. He's going to melt him. It's set up for Strickland to absolutely melt him. But again, you got to get through one and a half rounds. We have to get through that. It's going to be tough. He can do it, though.